Good morning everybody, welcome back to another video. Today, I thought I would sit down in front of my computer and watch my Nationals Day 1 vlog and I guess do like a reaction video to it. Commentate it, add some stories, add some information that I skipped over or left out or figured out in reflection to the competition. I don't know if this is going to be interesting at all, so please let me know if you do enjoy, and uh, and I'll do it for day two as well. Also, before we get into today's video, as promised, I've delivered on the Commonwealth Games supporter shirts. They are now available at shopcedricdoula.com. There's male, female, and youth shirts, and they're available for three weeks only. I am getting a call, and the light just fell over. Let's get into today's video. Also, it's so hot in Australia today. I'm sweating quite a bit. Good morning, everybody. Welcome out to day one of the Commonwealth Games Trials and National Championships here on the Gold Coast at the Carrara Stadium. The track feels so good. And the warm-up track is like really well laid out as well. There's so many tents along the side. That's all I can say about that. Love the track. And yeah, it was a super stressful morning. I had to do so many trips to and from the front gate, trying to get everything in, and then there was confusion with the security and all the volunteers, and it was just chaos before the hundred. So, nothing I could do. Marshalling in 17 minutes, and I haven't started a warm up. I've done a total of one run through and one block start. That's literally all I did for my warm up. But I think because I went to and from the front gate so many times, like I was warm, my body was moving, and the weather was so hot as well. So, yeah, I, I think that was like enough of a warm up. <laughs> At this point, I was feeling good. I was like, as long as I can get a good start, get out well, and then just relax my running, I was going to run well. So here I was like, okay, I'm in line with everyone, and then I was like, yep, yep, getting away, getting away. I feel like there's some more speed though, and then the second I crossed the line, I looked at the time, I glanced at it, and I was like, oh, I would wish I ran a little bit faster, but still, 10.63 is like a really good start to a decaf, and I think that's what helped the competition roll so easily, like, started with a good 100, and it just kept flowing from there. And then Sarah from Athletic Australia was a massive help with getting this esky through the front gate. And then Bruno went and filled up the esky while I was doing the 100. So by the time I got back from the 100, um, my esky was like set up, all my food was in there, the cooling stuff was being cooled. That was really good. Long jump, I was nervous about how I was going to go because I did a competition earlier in the year. That wasn't very good. And I really haven't done much training for it. But first round came in, got some reaction off the board, and I was like, okay, yeah, we can we can go after this. So second round, I went after it a bit more. I didn't have the tailwind I did on the first one, but I still jumped further, 758, and that was enough for me to say, yep, that's good enough, let's walk away. So yeah, I was really happy with how the long jump went, and I'm confident that at the Commonwealth Games, there's gonna be a Potentially a PB there. 774 is my current PB. I know I'll be able to jump uh, further. I've been doing for the long jump. I had no idea how it was going to go. Very so true. now we're on to the third event, the shot put. Shot put was good. Um, it was just a good sort of environment. Like you can see the coaches just on the inside there. So I had Eric and Chris there with me. And as you've seen in videos, Chris just. He's like a good character to just have around. You can also see all my cooling stuff that I was wearing there. So I was putting on like the ice vest and stuff between throws. 1280 was my first round throw. So that was like solid to get out. 1269 like was a little bit down, still a really good throw. Actually that's, a, that would have been a PB as well. And then third one went a bit further. I just had a good connection on the ground. And I remember standing there being like, come on, show me 13, show me 13. And 1301 came up and everyone was super pumped for me. So that, that was really good. Killed the shot put. Also, it was still extremely hot at this point. The only reason I was wearing a long sleeve shirt is to try and stop myself from getting burned. So I'm pretty sure I was like wearing an ice vest just before this and I took it off to do the vlog because it looks a bit funny sometimes. 
I've just also had a massage. Now I'm gonna set myself up in the multi-event room. So I think this is one of the things that separates me from other athletes. In a break, some of the athletes were just waiting for the next event, whereas I was proactively doing recovery methods that were gonna help me feel better when we got to that next event. So, like straight after the shot put, I met Bruno at the recovery room. We did ice bath, we did massage, we then went back to the multi-event room where it was air -conned. I threw the compression boots on, I put my noise cancelling headphones on, I put my eye mask thing on, threw some Enya on, that's the only artist I listen to if I'm trying to go to sleep, and my body knows, ah, Enya's playing, let's go to sleep. I didn't actually sleep, but I like, I felt really good, rested, and then this bloody storm came in. Storm coming in, I've had, I haven't slept. It was a bit annoying actually, this storm, um, because there were like delays, they were telling everyone, all the athletes, to go inside. We're not going out to the events yet. Um, and then they came out of nowhere and were like, alright, we're going out to the event. So, I think in the end, there was only like a 15 minute delay, which is fine. Um, and it also wasn't a worry for me because I warm up out at the event. I don't usually warm up before going out, but some of the other guys were put off by that a bit. I was also very happy it did not rain on the track because that would have slowed things down and made it less reactive but because it didn't rain it was good. To a one starting height it was going to be 203 but then they changed it to either 201 or 204 I thought 204 would have been pushing it a bit so we went 201 and then skipped to 207 got that on my second attempt 210 this first jump look at the height ah oh, it's just a little bit too far away and then second attempt, came in, got it, easy. 213, I feel like I definitely should have got at this competition. And Commonwealth Games, when people are like in the stadium, getting claps going, like the atmosphere is gonna be really good. And I will be looking for a PB. PB is currently at 215. Um, I guess we'll see what the heights sort of go to, but like the track feels really good, so I know a PB will be on the cards. Knowing exactly where it is, and I feel like if I was a little bit better in that regard, I would have had two. This is something we're going to work on as well over the next little bit. The 400. I'll explain how we're doing that in a training video as soon. As possible, because right now I'm on track to equal my Olympic qualifier. So right now, I just. I was not stressed about results, like everything was just flowing nicely, I was feeling good and I think this was the first 400 meter race where I was not nervous before the race, like I was like I can run 49 pretty much any day of the week, I know a lot of the other boys were aiming for 49 as well so I was like when we go, get into the home straight I'll just sort of figure out where we are and um, make adjustments if we need to and I sort of knew the splits that I was going through as well. So, it feels good not being completely terrified before a 400 meter race. So got out, um, stagger sort of stayed the same. I did go a little bit slow through the first 200. I think it was 24 through the first 200. Then I come around, you can actually see me look at the clock. It was about 36 through 300, so I thought I'd pick it up a bit. Uh, Kyle was on the inside and Lockie is the guy I'm catching up to now. So I was like, I'm gonna push up to Lockie just overtook him and then it was 49.00 which was exactly what I was aiming for and then it was rounded up to 49.01 so after that recovery just kicks in straight away so I was moving 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 even as I was talking to the media I was walking back and forth and then um, I was jogging up and down the hallway a little bit just to try and start the warm down then jumped in the ice bath then jumped on the massage table. Um, as I was on the massage table, I was eating pasta. Just really recovery, getting moving as fast as possible because every second after day one counts and you need to try and like get through everything as quickly and smoothly as possible so you can get to sleep, sleep and get up for day two. And then pretty much from there, I went home. Emily was waiting with a warm bath and another pasta meal. Yeah, and then I pretty much went to sleep. I had the recovery boots on for a tiny bit, went to sleep, had about seven hours sleep, and woke up for day two. So, yeah, that is it for today's video. Um, please let me know if you have enjoyed 
like this is something different that I've never really done before and I don't know if I added any new information but uh, yeah please let me know if you enjoyed that's it for today I hope you guys have had a wonderful day merch available at shopsedricjubber.com if you are interested in supporting uh, the Commonwealth Games supporter shirts and I will see you guys next time ciao